Let us all stand and go before the Lord in prayer. We have a prayer request that was submitted by Sister Luanda, and she is praying for salvation for Jer uh, Jeremy, Michelle, and what's his last name? Jeremy and Michelle Brazil. Brazil, okay. Jeremy and Michelle Brazil, and she's also praying for salvation for her family. Amen. Amen. So let us all remember this prayer request as we go before the Lord in prayer. Are there any unspoken prayer requests? You can make them known by the raising of your hand. Amen. The Lord is acknowledged. Let us all bow our heads in prayer. Lord, Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we we'll thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, Lord, to come before your throne of grace. Lord, we we'll thank you, Lord, for blessing us, Lord Jesus, to wake up this morning clothed in our right mind. Lord, we we'll thank you, Lord, for the word that we heard this morning, Lord Jesus. Lord, we we'll ask, Lord, you may it burn up in our hearts and in our souls, Lord. Lord, bless us to hide the word of God in our heart that we may not sin against you. Lord, I want to ask, Lord, right now that you look upon this service right now, Lord. Lord, touch every soul that's in the pool, in the, that's in the, in the pew right now. Lord, touch everybody, Lord, that's in this house right now, each and individual, Lord. Lord, I want to ask, Lord, that you work in our hearts and let your word fall upon good ground, Lord, and take root in our hearts. Lord, I want to ask, Lord, to put this prayer request that has been submitted before you. Lord, look upon all of our lost loved ones, Lord. Touch them right now, Lord, you know them all by name, Lord. Lord, salvation for this family right now, in Jesus' name we pray. And we'll be careful to give your name, the praise, and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.
Lord is more valuable than anything in this world. Yeah. Amen. At this time, we'd like to prepare our hearts to give. We'd like the ushers to come forth to prepare us to receive this offering. And before um, I receive the offering, I have uh, one quick announcement. Amen. And that is coming up this Friday at 6.30 here at Newburgh Tabernacle will be our, our uh, youth, we are Friday youth night. Amen. So all the youth, please come out and participate and support our New York Tabernacle Youth Night. Pastor, I mean, uh, Minister uh, Al, would you please pray for all? Amen. Lord Jesus, thank you again for being in the house and being a part of your church. Thank you for the privilege to give. I ask that you bless this gift and worship unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Everyone said amen. Amen. Lord, don't you know?
Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise I want to thank the Lord for blessing me to be here. I want to thank the Lord for my life, my health, and my strength. I want to thank the Lord for blessing me because I know that the Lord is a healer. Amen. I want to thank the Lord for just serving. I want to thank God for just all his wonderful blessings that he has bestowed upon my life. God, pray much for the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. The Lord is my portion. Yes. And I just thank and praise the Lord because, you know, in this life, you know, things come and go, but the Lord, if he's our portion, you know, we know we're going to be okay. Yeah. You know, and he's everything we need, you know. Everything we need is wrapped up in him. And I just thank and praise the Lord for him being my portion. And I just thank and praise the Lord for all of you being here tonight. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. One more. Go ahead. All right. Thank you. 
Amen. One more time, would you clap your hands to the Lord?
holding to a form of outward godliness. Religion. Although they have denied its power, for their conduct nullifies their claim of faith. Paul goes on to tell Timothy, he said, avoid such people. Keep away from them. For among them are those who worm their way into homes and captivate morally weak and spiritually dwarfed women weighed down by the burden of life, sins, easily swayed by various impulses, always learning and listening to anybody who will teach them, but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Amen. That's the amplified version of that. The enemy is doing everything he can yeah. to wear out the saints. Yeah. He's doing it. Praise God. Yeah. Bishop jumped out of the car and said, we got a play for keeps. I said, okay, thank you, Lord, for helping me. Because the devil is playing for keeps. Yes, he, he knows that his time is short. And if he's going to succeed, he's got to work harder. Right? Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor and tell him we are in a fight for our lives. Praise God. I'm going to try to hurry up. We cannot take for granted the times that we are living in. Amen. So I rise tonight one more time. To send a warning to some. And to bring good news to others. We are in the home stretch. Praise God. I know you like baseball. I don't know if it's the top of the ninth or the bottom. But it's the last inning. We are in the last inning. Praise God. It's my prayer tonight that we do not approach God and everything that has to do with him casually. Amen. That there be a reverence of the things of God. And we demonstrate that, amen, with thanksgiving. For the scripture says, enter into his house with thanksgiving. Amen. And into his courts with praise. Amen. It says to be thankful and to bless his name. Amen. How did you come in the house of God tonight? Did you come in the house of God? Amen. Very religiously. Or did you come thankful? Praise the Lord. Come on somebody. Did you come thankful? Did you come? Amen. With a praise in your heart. Praise God. Because we got a seat. Amen. In the house of God. Anybody came thankful? Hallelujah. For the Lord allowing us to sit. Amen. Into his presence. Come on. Would you give him praise here? Amen tonight. God, thank you for letting us be able to come into your house and gather with people of like precious faith. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah for connecting us with folks that, amen, that are hungry. Amen to one day, hallelujah, be raptured out of here. I'm thankful that I'm surrounded by men and women, amen, that have a passion for the things of God. Anybody thankful? Praise God. Hallelujah. If you go out into the workforce, any, you'll know that there's not very many. Oh, I shouldn't say it like that, but there are people, amen, that really could care less about what you're doing in the house of God, and they care more about what's happening in the bar, what's happening in the club. Come on. They care more about what's happening, praise God, amen, on the sports game. I wish I had help here tonight, but I'm thankful that we got some folks that care whether or not, amen, somebody's rapture ready. I'm thankful that we got some folks here tonight that care about the beauty of being in the house of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. And so we have no idea when we will draw our last breath. Amen. Amen. The old timers preached a lot about uh, uh, getting out of here. They were adamant about being ready. Amen. For the rapture. Amen. They tried to, some of them preached you to the altar because you were so scared. Praise God. That you wouldn't make it to the next service. Hallelujah. 
Amen. And I wasn't in the church then, but I remember hearing stories about, amen, that old fellow that felt that conviction. And when he left the service, amen, a train ran over him. Oh my. That kind of stuff, praise God, will scare you. But in today's world, fear becomes a sport. Right. So we're not scaring nobody to an altar, amen, because they're jumping off of cliffs with bungee cords. I wish I had that. Make no kind of sense. I'm not jumping off no cliff, pray. I don't care how many cords you give me. I'm not going up. Amen. Praise God. So we're not scaring nobody to the altar, but the reality is you've been reading the news and looking at the news. A young man walked up to a young boy. And that was his last, that young boy's last day. The reality. A man got pulled over just the other day, praise God, and crashed or chased. I don't know how it all happened. Amen. But that was his last day. He took a bullet to the head. That was his last day. I wish I had some help here today. Praise God. You you just never know. Your time comes. As of this moment, today, 6,049 people have took 50. Go ahead. 6,050 people, 51, have taken the last breath. This number climbing. Every sin, I wish I had some. Oh, I appreciate it. Oh, I wish it was all glory. This year alone, this is not in my notes, but this year alone, amen, just with, amen, the corona, praise God, over 200,000 people have lost their lives. And, 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 and you can fuss, we can fuss about Amen. Whether it was all Corona, whether it wasn't, whether it was a flu, and, and all of that really do not matter tonight. Amen. The bottom line is, praise God, there are over 200,000 people. That's all right. Amen. Amen. That have lost their lives. And you think coming to church is just a game. I wish I had help here. Amen. Tonight. This is not video games tonight. This is not the virtual world. Praise God. The enemy is doing everything he can. Praise the Lord. To get every, every single one of us. Praise God. Somehow, some way. Amen. To get out of here and not be rapture ready. Praise God. Amen. And I know I'm preaching, amen, to save folks here tonight and probably folks that are watching, amen, on Facebook tonight. Hallelujah. That's why you can't take it for granted. Praise God. That's why you can't play with the sermons that you hear, amen, every Sunday that you great that, that, that the man of God come to the pulpit. Praise the Lord. That's why you can't take the wisdom that's coming from those that are spiritual in your house for granted because they're trying to make sure that not only you, but those that are connected to you are rapture ready. Hallelujah. I'm going to say it one more time. We are in a war. Praise God. And the enemy is playing for keeps. Hallelujah. Come on, he wants our families, hallelujah. He wants our marriages, praise God. Amen. It's not normal today, praise the Lord, to know people that have been married for at least 50 years, praise God. Amen. People, like he said today, they're getting married like people are washing their hands. People are changing partners like nobody's business. I wish I had some help in the house of the Lord today, amen. Amen, like crazy. All kinds of things is happening. Hallelujah. And we are taking it for granted. Everything now is at our fingertips. Hallelujah. Amen. People are dying right at our fingertips. And we think it's just a game. Amen. But I rise tonight to tell somebody that Jesus has called us. Amen. To declare war. Over the last couple. 
bottom line to it all is who you are, who you are, or who you are. Well, it's a typo. That God created you. You're not a typo. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. You're not a typo. Yes, because the culture wants to take masculinity away from the man and femininity away from the woman doesn't mean that it's right. Come on, somebody. I'm trying to get off of this. You were born a guy, you'll die a guy. I don't care how much altering you try to do. You are what God made. That's right. We are living in a, a time, amen, we are living, amen, we are not living by bread alone, amen, something that can be created by humanity, amen, but we are living by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God, praise God, and I know you've heard it, amen, before, amen, but what the Lord is trying to get us to realize is how important the word of God is in our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. For the scripture tells us where the word of a king is, there is power. How many want power? Amen. Every one of us want power. Some of us want it right and some of us want it wrong. Praise God. We seek to do it our way. We're saying we want power or control. But the Bible teaches us that we can have power the right way. And that's power in the word of God. The scripture itself speaks to us of its importance, its value, and influence in the lives of those that actually hold the word of God in high regard. Things like this. Add thou not unto his word, lest he reprove thee. And thou be found a liar. Amen. Before the Bible closes and the last amen is recorded. The Lord said in Revelation 22. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things. God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy. God shall take away his part out of the book of life. Amen. There goes one saved, always saved. Praise the Lord. Oh, I wish I had help. Come on. There goes one saved, always saved. Come on. We got to get rid of that damnable doctrine. You're not one saved, always saved. Amen. The only way you're going to make it to the end, hallelujah, is if you endure to the end. Praise God. As he preached to us this morning, as if you hold on to the unchanging hand of the Lord. Praise God. I might make a mistake, but I'm going to get up and keep my hand connected to his hand. Hallelujah. I might not do it all correctly. I might not do it all right. But I'm going to fall with my hand connected to the hand of the Savior. Come on. We are at war. Praise God. And you're going to fall sometimes. And you just need, amen, to get back up. Rejoice not against me, oh my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. Come on, somebody. Praise the Lord. Proverbs 138 and verse 2 says, I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified, listen, thy word above his name. I mean, you know the name is powerful. Hallelujah. We baptize in the name around here. Well, I guess I'm not excited about that, but I'm still excited about the fact that when you go down in water, amen, you don't go down in three different gods. You go down in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. I'm thankful that when we're buried, amen, we're buried in the name 
of the Lord Jesus Christ. For neither is there salvation in any other. For there is no other name under heaven among. I don't feel bad about reiterating doctrine tonight. Amen. There is no other name. Amen. Given whereby we must be saved. I thank God for the name. I think it's essential that we take on the name. I wish y'all get excited about the name of Jesus. Come on. Amen. You get excited about Beyonce. You get excited, hallelujah, about everybody else. I wonder if there's anybody in the house that still has joy and excitement about the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I wonder if there's anybody that remembers when you were buried in the name of the Lord for the remission of your sins. Thank God for the name where you cannot be saved. Amen. Without it. The Bible says his name is powerful. Strong tower. Righteous run into it. They're saved. The reason why the name is powerful because his word said so. His word is written and it's high above the name. What is written is of the utmost importance. God never intended for you and I to go at life all by ourselves. He understood that if we're going to give, if we're given over to the carnal man, our mentality will seek to kill or be killed. Yikes. To be carnally minded. Yes, come on. And that. Amen. Praise God. I'm going to skip over that. Hallelujah. Psalms 33 11 says, The counsel of the Lord standeth forever. Yes, the thoughts of his heart to all generations. Is this all right? Amen. Psalm 33 4 says, For the word of the Lord is right. Mm. And all his works are done in truth. Yeah. One of the greatest benefits of the word of God is it gives you life. For Jesus said, my word is spirit and life. Amen. Proverbs 4.4. 4. He taught me also and said, I'm giving you the word. That way, if I'm preaching, don't be so good. You got the word. Praise the Lord. He taught me also and said unto me, let thine heart retain my words. Keep my commandments and live. Proverbs 7, 2 says, keep my commandments and live and my laws as the apple of thine eye. Amen. What I'm simply trying to say here tonight is, amen, who we are doesn't come from the great philosophers of the day. Nor does it come from the influence of the hip hop culture. Nor does it come from social economic status. Nor ethnicity. Amen. It comes from the word and the word alone. Praise God. we got to get it right. The Bible is not subject for my own interpretation. Amen. It is revealed. It is divine revelation. And God teaches us and he's trying to help us. Through his word. Praise God. So what Jesus began teaching us from the very beginning. Amen. Is that we've got to understand who we are in reference to the word of God. Amen. Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. Praise God. The second thing that I want to bring, uh, bring our attention to. Is that the devil would try to get you to focus on the wrong thing. Yeah. Amen. What he wants to get you to do is try to test or to prove the character of God. Amen. He said, if, if thou be a son of God, why don't you jump off this cliff? That's what he said. And let's see. He said he'll give his angels charge over you and you won't even hurt yourself. Amen. There are many people today that say, if God is loving, a loving God, why did he let them molest me? They're trying to come against the character of God. Why didn't he stop them from beating on me? 
Amen. I just, I just had a, I, I just have a hard time believing in a God that will allow things like this to take place. Praise God. Don't you get caught up in the mindset where things happen because when things happen because of decisions that other people make. Praise God. Amen. It has nothing to do with the character of God but the foolishness of man. Hallelujah. Flesh that just don't want to be controlled. Praise God. People do some of the foolish things. Amen. But we cannot blame that on the character of God. Praise God. Amen. I'm sorry. Amen. Why well, they molested you. I can't help. Amen. The wrong that everybody has done. Amen. But that doesn't hurt or put to shame the character of God. He's still a loving God. And what God did was, while you were being molested, he still came to you and loved you and tried to put the broken pieces back together again. Come on, somebody. Amen. There's nothing that hurts the character of God because some folks want to jump in a plane. Amen. And make themselves. Amen. Suicide bombs. That doesn't come against the character of God. of the preaching and teaching of late. There are times when the consequences of your decisions will be inescapable. And it's not God's fault. Am I going to help you? It's my fault. Don't, don't be deceived. So deceived that you can't even see your own error. Well, that devil is slick, ain't he? Yeah, he's slick. He's slick. Let me see if you can jump over here. God said that if you stepped out, he will give his angels. And while you're falling, they will stop you from hurting yourself. Go on and jump. Lie, lie, pants on fire. Come on. If God did not tell you to step out, you better not do it. Don't you let your own lust, amen, or anything lead you out into a place that God did not tell you to go. Praise God. God's character and power is still right, even if he chooses not to show up when you, when you, when you rub that bottle three times. Mm -hmm. Preach. Yeah, you preach. Go ahead. Quit listening. Amen to the lies of the enemy. I hope I'm making sense here. Yes, you are. I'm about to quit. I'm about to quit. Amen. Don't test God's character. Just walk with the Lord. He'll show up. He'll show up. Lastly, point number three. If you will bow down and worship me, I'll give you everything. How can he give something he don't know? That was a big lie right there. That was the biggest lie right there. Come on. But you know there are people out there believing. Come on, preacher. They believe it and chasing that lie. This is what the enemy is really after. He's not after necessarily a shout. He don't care if you shout. You know that? He don't care if you clap your hands. He don't care if you dance in the house of God. Amen. He look at us laughing sometimes. Look at him. I'm not talking about a shout. Amen. What the devil is after is after your worship. Yeah. The Greek word there is, is uh, proskuneo, uh, which is two words put together. It simply means like kisses towards. Uh, I can go a little further into that, but the reality is it's like uh, a little dog coming to his master. 
just licking on his hand. And the devil is looking for somebody to take their worship or their devotion unto God and give it to him. That's right. That's right. Amen. That you would humble yourself before him and believe the lies that he's telling you. Yeah. Amen. That church don't know what they're talking about. That preacher, you just too old fashioned. Why are, you, why are you preaching the way you preach? You're just too old fashioned. In fact, that's just your belief system. Praise God. That ain't everybody else's belief. Y'all ain't hearing me tonight. Amen. That ain't everybody else's belief system. Praise God. I, 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 I will be able to agree with you the one coming out of a book. Praise the Lord. Y'all ain't going to help me. I, I, would, I would be able to say, yeah, maybe that's, that's probably right. But that ain't the right thing because everything. I'm not trying to bring attention to the bishop, but I'm just saying everything that we have heard from the man of God had came right out of that book. I wish I had help. I know I said it this morning in Sunday school, but that's not personal conviction. That's conviction that came from the word of God. And I don't care what you say, and it doesn't matter what the old enemy is trying to tell you. Everything that God puts in his heart to declare to every one of us and to those that are watching by way of Facebook, amen, it is our responsibility now to tell the devil, get out of my face. I'm going to do my thing for Jesus. I'm not going to listen to your lies. I'm not going to fall suit. Amen. Because really, you have nothing to offer me. You have nothing to give me. Amen. The only thing you have in your power is what I give to you myself. Hallelujah. And I'm not giving you. I'm not going to give you my praise. I'm not going to give you my worship. I'm not going to give you my time. I'm going to give it all to him. Yes. The only way to overcome and, and win this battle in, 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 in our spiritual war is to learn to understand who we are according to the word of God. Yes. Amen. And not do things that God didn't tell us to do to try to prove his character and learn to make sure we worship him. And him only. Amen. The Bible says when Jesus said, He said, Thou shalt not worship anybody but Him yeah. and Him only. When the devil recognizes that your worship ain't going nowhere, he's leaving. Yeah. Yeah. Submit yourself, therefore, unto God. Yeah. Resist the devil, yeah. and he'll flee. Yeah. And Jesus showed us how to resist the devil, and how to submit to God. How I many want to submit unto the King of Kings and win the battle? Hallelujah. We have a wicked world. We have things going on at an all-time high, but you and I can win. And we can help somebody else win. Would you stand? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I hope said something here tonight may have been a help to somebody. Amen. You want to overcome when the battle is war. Just obey God. The key to our success simply obeying the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Why don't we take just a few moments to gather around and allow the Lord to Help us here tonight. Thank you, Lord.